Welcome back to the Wizard Shop, and today we're going to look at this really cool Mini Cooper. The thing that's cool about this Mini Cooper, it only has 25,000 original miles. We're going to take a look at it and put it on the lift. If there's something wrong with this car, even with low mileage, we're going to let you guys figure it out. Let's get started. And just like I said a minute ago, this thing only has 25,000 original miles. It's a little dirty from being driven. They actually drove it here. It's got a little bit of dust on it. But overall, this thing is in like factory new condition. You guys know how I am about interiors. I'm an interior snob. If the interior doesn't do anything for me, I will write the whole car off. And this one definitely does something for me. When I sit inside of it, it smells like I'm sitting in a Mini Cooper at a dealership that's fresh off the factory assembly line. It's amazing the interior is so nice. The really odd thing is that this is a 2006. It's 14 years old. It's in immaculate condition, except for the thing that's broke on this. And we'll take a look at that here in a minute and let you guys hear it. But let's take a look around this car and look inside the interior before we get it on the lift. The paint on it is glossy, like new. It does have a clear bra on it. I don't know if that was factory or if somebody had that put on. But as you can see, it's been driven around. It's a little dirty. I don't know if these are factory, these little driving lights or passing lights, whatever you call them. They might be. I'm not too sure on that, but no dents, no beat up bumps or bruises, no scratches. If this thing had a ceramic coating on it and it was in beautiful, clean shape, it would absolutely look brand new. It, it is brand new, basically. This is the S model. It is supercharged. And that's what it's here for, is a supercharger service, which is not a quick, fast job, but it has to be done. All the wheels are in good shape. No dents, no dings, no cracked glass. I imagine when we look at this thing, which I haven't done yet, we're going to find that most of the parts and pieces are like new. Let's take a look at the interior. Have a seat, Mrs. Wizard. Oh, thank you. Do you smell that, Mrs. Wizard? It smells like a new car, doesn't it? It does. It really does smell like a new car. All the chrome is shiny, scratch-free, perfect. Look, it's fresh off the factory assembly line. It's, it's really amazing to me. I've seen so many Mini Coopers in and out of my shop, and they're usually trashed pretty hard. And to see one come in that's like factory new, it's, it's a real oddity. It's almost odd. It's like, it shouldn't be this nice, but it is. I guess I can't complain. It is, it is really a cool car, too. I think it's really cool, Car Wizard, that the dash actually is a lot like that SL230 that we just did. They match a body color with it. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. neat. 25,999 something, almost 26,000 miles, but it is still under the 25 range. That's very low miles. As far as miles go, it hasn't even exceeded its warranty, but we all know by years it has gratefully exceeded its warranty. Everything, the buttons, the hinges, everything functions like new. The material on those seats is like it was just unwrapped with fresh plastic. They just removed the plastic and it's like fresh, brand new. It's really cool. Interior obviously is, is perfect. Let's take a look under the hood. So I've got the, the hood unlatched. It's actually on the passenger side on these years of Mini Coopers. And to actually get it, the safety interlock undone, it's under the headlight. It's kind of weird. And there's the engine. The supercharged 1.6 liter Mini Cooper engine. It says John Cooper works on the on the air cleaner lid. This car is pretty fast for for its size. It's it moves out pretty quick. We've got some services to do. Like I said, we're going to do a supercharger service. A lot of this stuff has to be moved out of the way to get to all the fill plugs, drain plugs, and everything. We're doing belts and tensioners and a whole bunch of a whole bunch of little things get this thing up to snuff. But luckily we shouldn't have to do too much because it's so new as far as miles goes. There's not much space to get to anything, especially down here with the supercharger in the way. It's, if you had to do a radiator or whatever, you can't just get right to it or the radiator fans or 
There is a lot of money right here if you were to get into a front end collision. There's your condenser, your radiator, supercharger, hoses. A whole bunch of stuff is right here to just get crushed. It wouldn't take much to total this car. From the front of the bumper to the condenser is probably four inches. It's, it's not much. So if you get into a front end collision on one of these, you're probably gonna total your car pretty quickly. I don't know how it is in you guys' area, but I frequently get a lot of Mini Coopers in my shop for one reason. It's not that I'm a specialist on them or that I really love them. I think they're cool cars. But oddly, most shops will turn down Mini Coopers. They drive their car up, they say this and that's wrong, and, and the only thing that they hear is, hell no, I'm not working on a Mini Cooper. I don't know why. I don't find them really all that hard to work on. Their, their reliability is not all that great. Their, their track record is not so great as far as longevity and parts and things like that. But yeah, it's, it's so weird around here. It's just constantly, can you work on my Mini Cooper? So-and-so refuses to work on it. Can, can, do you guys work on it? And I'm like, yeah. Over the past two or three years, I've probably made $40,000 on Mini Coopers. That's just, it's just crazy. But hey, I'm happy to work on them. Let's start this engine up, let you guys hear a really odd noise. And then we're gonna put it on the lift and take a look underneath of it. Are you guys ready? Put your ears to the speaker or put your earphone a little closer. See if you can hear the noise. So you guys heard it when I started the engine up and pulled it over to the lift. It's a rattly, really nasty sounding buzzing noise. So just like the little game I always play with you guys, I'm gonna list three items, three issues that could be causing this noise and see if you can figure it out. And then we'll find out what it really is. I'll start the engine and I'll show you guys what it is. Number one, is this a timing chain issue where one of the tensioners or pulleys or something's really, really bad about to break? making this horrible noise. Number two, is it an exhaust noise, a heat shield or something buzzing really bad because of a cracked exhaust manifold and it's buzzing really loud? Or number three, is it a supercharger pulley that's rattling and making the buzzing noise? I'll give you guys a little bit to see if you can make your guess and we'll see if you were right. I'm going to go ahead and start the car. Mrs. Wizard's going to get up close and I'll show you exactly what the noise is. It's a supercharger pulley. So as you guys heard and seen, the noise is coming from the supercharger pulley. It's rattling, it's loose, it's, it's really bad. As we're going to do the supercharger service and belts and tensioners and things, we're going to go ahead and replace that with a pulley. Since the pulley is bad, it's literally grenading itself. We're going to go ahead and pull that thing off and install an upgrade pulley, a 15% reduction, which is going to give a little bit more power boost. It's not going to need any tune. It's not going to need a whole lot of anything. It'll just be a small power boost. But if we're going to have to take that off, you might as well put an upgraded part on it. It's not much more than buying the stock part and it'll be a, a nice upgrade to go along with this. So now you guys know what the noise is. To the uninitiated and you start your car, you could think, oh my goodness, the camshafts or something's bad, a rod is knocking. You could, you could get your heart rate up pretty fast hearing that noise. And this is one of those instances where it's not that big of a deal. It's a small pulley, it could go bad, it could throw your belt or something, but we can get that fixed and get him back in business. So Car Wizard, how did you know that was the problem and not the other two options? Well, I isolated the noise over into that area and I used my handy dandy stethoscope with a metal rod on it. You just, like a stethoscope at the doctor, you put it over your ears and you put the metal rod not on the rotating parts, you don't want to damage it or bust your eardrums, but on the housing of the supercharger or on the tensioner arm or different places I placed this. 
and I was able to isolate it right to the supercharger pulley and I could start to see it actually shaking the pulley itself and I said yep there it is. This is on my Amazon Affiliates link as well. So let's get the hood closed and let's check out the underside. Wow, this is a small car. I think three or four steps and we'll be towards the end of it, Mrs. Wizard. It's definitely not the land yacht you've been getting a lot lately. No, nope. I fully expect to not find a whole lot wrong under here due to the mileage is so low, but might as well take a look. So the radiator is literally right here at the bumper. You don't go looking further in. You can see that it's set for a while with the little cobwebs and things that are in it. That's why it has such low miles. Radiator and the fans look new. You can look at the oil pan and the transmission and there's just really not a drop of anything to be found. It's dry. Luckily we don't have to do a timing belt on this. It's a timing chain. And there's no issues there. Let's take a look at these brakes. These are factory Mini Cooper brakes. Of course, they're as tight as a new car, because it is basically a new car. And look over here. Same thing, nothing's loose. A little ride height sensor is connected and doing well. So you look at the steering rack and you can see the yellowish gold color. It's called, that's the cadmium plating that's on it. And that's when I know a car has got very low miles, when it still has the cad plating, it's not dusty or dirty, no drips. No leaks. Even this milled surface on the steering rack is still shiny like new. Pretty crazy. Exhaust is in good shape. Really not going to find much there with such low miles. It's not even rusted really. It's still got the original coating on it. And we get back to the back. It's got a Borla exhaust on it. I don't know that that's stock. I don't think it would be, not Borla. But hey, it's an also a new condition. Probably was put on when it was new, I would imagine. It's got original brakes on it. Still in good shape. Nothing loose there. Right height sensor, still good. Sway bar link is tight. Over here as well. There's really nothing to find under here, Mrs. Wizard. No, it's looking great. It's basically like a new car. Check the tires. Check the date code on the tires. Here we find the date code, 27th week of 2019. So they're like a year old. These tires are fairly new, so I don't need to sell them a set of tires, luckily. Let's get this thing on the ground and finish it out. that thing took forever to get on the ground. Yeah, it doesn't weigh very much, but definitely the more I use my bin pack lifts, I really, really am liking them. They, they never give me any trouble. They just work and work and work every single time. So I'm very happy to have those in the shop. This little thing barely weighs enough to bring the arms back down. It's used to three and four and 5,000 pounds. I don't know what this weighs, probably three, 2,500, somewhere in that range. It's not very much. But I definitely knew when this car came in the shop with its low miles and the condition it's in, and I know a lot of you guys are into Mini Coopers and stuff, I definitely thought you guys would like to see a video on it. Once we get the supercharger pulley done and the service and a few other things up to date, he's going to be ready to rock and roll on this thing and it's going to drive like a new car. It basically is a new car, except for the little issues we found. Some of the tools that we're going to use to actually fix this car, you can find them all listed in my Amazon Affiliates link in the description below. I have all my tools listed that I use for sale there. If you haven't hit the subscribe button already, I really recommend that you do that. We've got a lot of cool projects coming, really cool cars. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.